him and the producer fell out and that didn't work out and then I was kind of jobless. Yeah, I mean people talk about your looks and they say, you know, I, I'm sure Sami, because I didn't look like a hero, you know, Akshay what? Kumar did. So usually, you know, comments on looking a bit like a girl or um, I certainly had a really bad voice, which I hadn't worked on. So, you know, I was there squeaking away in an English accent. I regret not doing Kapoor and Sons. Um, I regret not doing Jolly LLB 2. These are two regrets. There are a lot of social ills and ca uh, casting couch and everything. Has anybody ever been out of place or out of line with yeah, you? Yeah, of course they have. They've been a bit mean and, you know, nasty. But it's a slightly nasty profession. Rarely do you see an actor who lives by the term that it means or stands for. Today we have somebody who has been entertaining us and enthralling us with performances for the last two and a half decades. Saif Ali Khan, yes he is, here with us talking about his unconventional journey. Welcome Saif. I think you're the one with the unconventional journey but that's a story for another day. Yeah, but that's also true <laughs> that I have also had right. rather unconventional. I bet. Yeah. What did your dad want you to do? My dad didn't want me to do, uh, they supported me in what I wanted to do but I was very clueless after 12th. Yeah, I was clueless after school and college and joined films and it was a different time then. I knew I didn't want to have a desk job. I, I thought I'll just die if I have to sit and do that 9 to 5 yeah. thing. But uh, the idea of films was very exciting because of the newness of environment every day and meeting new people in different hours and sometimes night shift, yeah. sometimes day shift. All these things were, that the variety of the job was fascinating for me. You know, a, a lot of people say that when you see your parents do a certain thing from, from the time you're a child or a kid, uh, you have an affinity towards doing the same thing. You had a father who was a, who was a cricketing legend. Did you ever not feel like becoming a cricketer or you know, was it? cricket is like in my blood and my respect and love for cricket is like a uh, religion. Yeah. You know, it's like I, I've got, we've got photographs. Because it's not just my dad, it's my granddad. It's yeah. Granddad captain India too. And he played for England also. He played the Bodyline series and that was a different time. Bradman he's played against. Oh. So it was like the photographs in Patodi are photographs of Ranjit Singh Ji, Dilip Singh Ji, you know, Australian legends, English legends. Then there's dad's time. All these photographs and all these kind of historical things. So I played good cricket and I never played in school or college of bowler that I thought was too fast yeah. or that, you know, this is, I can't do this. What let me down, I think, is that I'd, it's also a very mental game. It's not just about playing shots, it's about patience and yeah. about timing and about, uh, you know, mental clarity. That I think I was strongly lacking in. So my cricket career was doomed because of lack of uh, lack of concentration. Yeah. Really, but but when you when you were trying to find a drive in doing what you wanted to do, um, how were your parents' reaction to it? Did they support you through it? Did they want? I mean, you they to were do worried. Something? They were worried, but they were also like like kind of regular film parents, you know, like what, beta, kya karoge? You should be a doctor, a lawyer, a banker, and and that point they were like maybe work abroad or some dream, like you know. Because it wasn't safe, nobody, I mean a lot of our generation started this thing of, you know, a lot of guys in Delhi became fashion designers, yeah. you know, they were our friends, guys like Rohit, Bal, were partying with us, we were all like 18, 19, and they said we want to get into fashion and they kind of bought Indian clothes into the, so just a digression, but like these are the few people who went off the beaten track yeah. and did artistic things, so I think inspired by that, I was like, okay, maybe movies. Do you remember the first uh, audition? Did you give an audition for your first yeah, film? Yeah, I do. i never forget. One audition, I think um, Mr. Yash Chopra asked me to say a line and Adi Chopra was holding it and saying, just read it. And it was, the line was, Are Devdas ke aftar, ab koi dusra role pakad yaar. But I was like with some English accent saying, Are Dev Saab ke aulad. And they were like, no, it's Devdas ke aftar, not Dev Saab ke aulad. So it was quite funny, but uh, it was really bad. But did you get the role? No, no, there was no, I didn't get many roles, but it was a different time then. Yeah. Not everyone wanted to send their kids to join movies. Filmy kids were joining movies. It was probably a bit less competitive and a simpler time. Yeah. So, you know, I got a chance and the audiences were very patient. 
But do you remember the first, how did you get your first film? Do you remember the entire uh, incident that got you the first film, the first time that you signed the contract? No, I don't remember. I, mean, I, do, I was doing an ad with my parents for Gawalia shootings and Ravi Chopra sahab, the late Ravi Chopra sahab was directing it. And then he said, you know, would you be interested in films? And Anand Mahindru was directing television shows. He came to Delhi and said, come with me to Bombay. It was all very exciting and I came to Bombay and then him and the producer fell out and that didn't work out. And then I was kind of jobless. And then eventually Umesh Mehra signed me for Ashikawara. Yeah. And Yash Chopra, when Yash Chopra sahab signed me for Parampara, everything kind of changed slightly because he's a big filmmaker. Um, Seth, you know, um, for the longest time, you you are considered one of the best performers that we have in India today. Uh, whether it's kind of the choices that you make in films and and otherwise too, basically sacred games and everything. Um, but there have been so many times that your career has dipped and then gone again up. How did you feel or how did you deal with the sense of loss at that point? That's always been there. That fear and that sense of, you know, okay, it's not going the way I want it to. So somewhere it's been about just doing the job. Very rarely, there's been a small time when I think during race or something where, you know, I felt like a star. The rest of the time I felt like an actor, mm. you know, like there's times when things are going really well, race to cocktail time where I'm like, okay, I know how to do this. People like me, I like the job. That confidence you get from being a successful star yeah. shows on your face and it kind of helps you. But most of the time, it's been a bit of a mental struggle where I've said, okay, I don't even know if people like me, but I've got this job, so I have to make the most of it. And um, I'm going to try my best to be a better actor in this job than I was in the last job and grow, yeah. grow, grow and work hard. And I really have worked hard at it. I mean, you of would never you have thought that, you know, I could pull off playing a Sardar or pull off Langra. It's not just Langra Tyagi. There's been a couple of roles. Yeah. Um, and, and so, I mean, I've grown into it finally and also the films have changed and it's become more about us and like more about actors um, playing different parts than just doing versions of Amitabh Bachchan and Shashi Kapoor films which is how it was in the 80s, early, 90s yeah. yeah. But uh, at any given point did you feel dejected like Akshay Kumar said that you know when he went through the first dip in his career there were 13, 14 films of his which flopped back to back and he just didn't know he was clueless about what was happening but he put his pieces back together at any point did you uh, think about it and feel dejected or yeah but also that's the thing you know guys like Akshay also like really strong um, and disciplined and you know uh, look at the kind of contribution he's made to cinema since uh, so you do feel dejected and you do feel but that's what I'm saying you've got to find the energy to carry on and the strength to kind of go out there and and still be the best thing you know and try and impress people yeah um, just through the opportunity I mean, it's a privilege to be an actor it's a privilege to have yeah. that job you know so you go out there and you do the best you can but where you get that energy from I'm telling you it's easy if you've had a hit but if you had a string of flops to behave like a star in front of the camera, uh, you have to find it somewhere and it, it's usually deep down to do with your spirit and your talent and your ability that you know you're good at it. Do you remember any of the meanest things that a producer or filmmaker must have told you when you know you were at that... When you're starting out? Or maybe at that lowest phase when, when things were not working out maybe. Yeah, I mean people talk about your looks and they say, you know, I, I'm sure Sami because I didn't look like a hero, you know, Akshay what? Kumar did. No, I, I looked quite girly actually, you know, I had long hair and I was a little, very anglicized and anglicized when I was 16 was quite a little effeminate, you know, it was a little different to the Indian idea of, you know, Dharminder kind of match, yeah. which is much more Akshay Kumar, you know, yeah. we worked together at yeah. that time. So he was um, the fit the kind of quintessential hero kind of slot, which I, I really didn't. Um, it, I mean, I think I'm a slow developer, slow grower, slow learner. So it took a while. Um, so usually, you know, comments on looking a bit like a girl or um, I certainly had a really bad voice, which I hadn't worked on. So, you know, I was there squeaking away in an English accent. Uh, people must have thought, wow. My but mother jokes, she's had dinner, lunch with me recently. She said, people must have thought initially that my son and Tiger's son will be this really impressive figure <laughs> so it just you know it just goes to show 
But ha- genes and all, I don't know how much it matters. Has that ever affected you? But not Internally. now. No. No, back then. I don't think so. I was always a, a cocky guy. I thought I'm the greatest, you know, and I'm really cool and I'm confident. I was always very confident. Uh, it didn't. I just knew I'm culturally a little different. Yeah. You know, that's all. It was there's many places where I felt at home, like in Delhi. Yeah. Uh, you know, I felt very much at home, and in London, I felt very much at home. It's just for a Hindi film hero. You know, no, I haven't seen many films, so I. And you know. never conform to the norms of. A, right, know. so I didn't know, and when it became cool to be take a guy who's not conforming, but somewhere we have to conform. We have to sound like the guy or be a little aspirational, you know. It's, but it's, I mean, yeah, it's not about conforming. You have different turning points in your career, you know. Um, but from what I know, that you were not really willing to do Dil Chahta Hai. No, I mean, you know, I thought, look, you've got Amir Khan. And you got Akshay Khanna, and I don't know where this kind of comic reliefy role is, you know, really in the scheme, which is a mistake because sometimes you should just see the strength in the part. And Amir told me also, he said, like, what are you doing? I said, no, I'm doing this film, and I'm doing Ram Gopal Verma's production of Love Ke Liye Kuch Bhi Karega. Yeah, I remember that. Said, Amir said, this film is going to be mounted ten times bigger than any of these movies you're doing. Just quietly do it. <laughs> so, I said, okay, sorry. So I did it. But are there But Farhan was upset because I think I told him, I said, look, if Amir does it, I'll do it. And he said, why? Why has it got to do with Amir? You know? But I was thinking, I don't know what to do. I'm confused. But if he says yes, then I'm sure it'll be a great film. At any given point, have you uh, regretted not doing a film or passing a film? Yeah, I regret not doing Kapoor and Sons. Um, I regret not doing Jolly LLB 2. These are two regrets that I can think of. Anything in back in the 2000s or something? No, I can't even remember that. I don't think... I did most of the good stuff I was offered then. But this now, this time, there were two, three films and I was like, Ew, how did I miss that? I don't know why. Very stupid. My wife told me I have to work with Chakun. Yeah. I still didn't. I don't know. Very stupid. Regret. There are a lot of things that are outside of faces, like you know, that there are a lot of social ills and ca- uh, casting couch and everything. Has ev- anybody ever been out of place or out of line with yeah, you? Yeah, of course they have. They've been a bit mean and you know nasty, but it's a slightly nasty profession. And in those days, like late 80s, early 90s, it was even more nasty. And part of the revolution of human nature is that it's not it's not okay anymore yeah. to do that. But it used to be you know, in all departments yeah. and the struggle is it carries on but I don't want to get into it because people have bigger problems and I am quite privileged so it doesn't really matter and I'm fine. But thank you for this conversation, yeah. it was lovely talking to you as always, you're always nice. candid, always yeah. honest. It was nice. Yeah, see? I yeah, it was, because you're good. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, this is Saif Ali Khan and if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to Pink Villa.